welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do make sure you subscribe like comment and then share this video and do make sure you hit the notification button also so you can keep receiving cool content like this in the future yeah I'm, yes it's important you like and comment just to help this just to push this content further to those who it might need it's, it's going to help the algorithm to push this my content a bit higher so those who need it can actually see it so don't be stingy with your like come on guys don't be stingy with your like all right so let's get back to this so i would like to paint i have to paint a mark so where this should grow out from it shouldn't be growing out everywhere so it should be growing out on specific places so i want this to grow out on specific places so I already, have, I already have one view, so I'm just going to map this out, paint this out. So I've already gone in there and then blocked out where I want the airline to be. The airline line to be. So I'm not going to use that as a, as a guide for it. So to paint in density map, let's hide this for now. To paint in density map, I would. <clears throat> I'll come in here, click on this. You know what? I feel a bit scared that something might be wrong. So let me try. Let me save this first. Then I will close the entire project just to be on the safe side. I want to be sure if everything is being applied to my projects. Like if everything I'm working on now is saved into my project, <clears throat> which is this Wukong project in here. So I want to be on the safe side, so I'm going to open this up again. Just give, <clears throat> just give this a moment to load up. So I've loaded it up again, so I'm going to file set projects. Okay, is there already? I'll select this. We can get design, click on set. So we are good, we are good, we are good. So let's carry on. Let me hide this for now. I'll come to the marks, click on create map. Okay. All right, so then I would put this set this to black, put this to somewhere around, let's say 50 should be fine. Then I will name this to head underscore hair underscore D E N S density underscore max. So that will make a better sense. So I'll click on create, I believe. Let me hide this one now. So we should have full black in here with our painting, with our with the with the paint brush being active, so I'll double click on this. Put this here, let me just put this around here for now. Okay, so I want to be using, I want to use a solid brush. I want to use a solid brush. You don't want to use a soft brush. You always want to use solid brush. Why? Because <clears throat> solid brush kind of creates like a feed around your marks so ideally it's going to it's going to kind of create extra hairs where you don't actually need and we are and we are naturally painting on so it's just best to just just stick with the solid brush you have a better result with the solid brush so drag this all the way to white okay then I want to paint this with symmetry turned on so I'll go down to stroke I'll turn on reflection Everything should be fine. We could have this for now. We could have this also. All right, so I come in here. I want to use a smaller brush size. Why? Because I'm just going to map out where the hairs should grow out from. So 
let's do wireframe on shaded for this so i'm just going to start painting oh great <clears throat> let me undo that start painting again like so okay do something like so go all the way okay like this should be fine yeah something pretty much like this then let's just close this up <coughs> So I'm seeing that I'm seeing some inconsistency here. So let me try and connect that. Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. There's any need to, for me to paint in more. I would let's see if there's a need to paint in more. Okay, not necessarily. Uh, I think we need to paint in more around here, like so. Okay, so let's increase the brush size a bit more. Then begin to paint some more on these parts. Okay. You want to be careful on the edge. That's how I kind of painted something a bit thicker, so we don't have to mess up the edge. Okay. I would increase this a bit more. So you can fill up more parts quite quickly. Okay. Great. Now you see this bleeding out. So you want to be kind of careful. Paint brush. This edge can be really weird sometimes. Now let's save this. So I'll just come in here and just save this. I'll click on this dicks icon to save this. Oh, fantastic. Now see, there's an issue here. You can see a weird issue around here. It's just somewhat annoying if you ask me. Let's see if I can undo this a few times to erase that. Yeah, see, so it's just weird. Some really weird stuff in text gen. Save this. Alright, so I think we're in a good place. Okay, so I'll turn off, turn off wireframe and shaded. Okay, I would also, okay, I would also turn off the guides for now. Let's open this up. Click on save, assign textures first, drag this all the way up, click on save texture, come back in here, this is what we have, yeah not too bad, this, this, this could work, this would work. Let's hide all of this for now. Bring back our guides. So now we need 
I think we need some guys in the center parts. So I'm just going to come in here, create one guy in the center like so. Create one here. Okay. You don't want the center part to be empty. Okay. I think we can work with this. Okay, let's generate cells again from this let's side. Let's hide the guide. Yeah, this we can work with. This we can definitely work with. Except for the fact that there's too much. I need to clean this part some more. Let's go back to the painting tool. And then I would double click in here, put this to full black, turn on wireframe on shaded in here, reduce the brush size, and let's just erase most of this. Save this. See how that cleans it up a bit more. This is precisely what we want. Okay, but one thing I would like to do next is to let me save this again. Hide the hair. One thing I like to do is to blow out the edges. So blow out all these edges. So I'll go back in here. I'll use the blow tool. I think um let me see and take down the brush size. Okay, I'll work. Let's blow out the edge. Just so we get a bit more feed around there. Okay. There's some weirdness around there. I feel like I think the bigger brush size. Maybe something like this. And not a bit more traditional feed. I'm getting some weirdness on the edge, I don't know why. Save this. Save here also. Okay, so we have better feed in front. Save this texture. Okay, so if we should increase the X strand now, let's say I put this to let's say 50. You would 
instantly begin to see so you see more you see less air on the front part and of gradually fading back into the entire hair this which is precisely what we want okay. that's this is precisely what we want okay this is looking good I don't know if I should increase this other part a bit more. The air guys are on this side. Let me hide this. Let me increase this air guys a bit more, like so. Maybe this one's here also. Raise that up. Okay. All right, do a quick save. I think we are in a really good place it's like this. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah there's something to fix here. Yes, on these parts. Till them back a bit more. You select this, move this out of the way, use the sculpt brush, kind of bend them out downwards, run this through again. I think we need one here, yeah, it's kind of control this a bit more. So let me, let's add one more here. Yeah. Increase the length a bit more. Run this through again. Let's see. Select this one. Okay, go through again. Yeah, the part is not going to be actually visible, but just to make sure we have something good enough in there. Very important. Save this file. Okay. Okay, so think think this will be a good time to start working with modifiers in here. Let's go to the modifier. Let's go to the modifiers tab. I don't really have a very good close up for this, but let's see. Think. Look for something. Yeah, this is actually a good one. I think I need to turn up the image a bit more. So let me just show you guys what I just do to kind of turn up the image. In case I don't see it properly. So should be this piece. Just drag it into Photoshop. And then I'll just convert the smarts. Smart, smart objects and just use the camera raw filter in there. Now just play with the settings some more. Almost completely remove the reduce the highlights. Okay.
Okay. Increase the texture, increase clarity a bit more. Like so. Hit OK. Control A, Control C. And I'll just paste this on here. That's pretty much it. And I can use this now. Let me use this now. So I'm just trying to get a general idea for the clumping. General idea for the clumping. So I kind of see clumping as kind of groups. Like setting up individual groups or the number of groups before breaking up that groups also by creating subgroups underneath that. And it just doesn't, doesn't make much sense now, but it makes a bit of sense now in the moment. So let's come in here and add clumping. You always want to add clumping, clumping first. So nothing is happening in the right because we need to set up maps for this. So let's try one for now and I'll set this to 0 0.8. Click on generate. Okay. Then click on save. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. You can see right off the bat we are getting something interesting in there already. So maybe this feels a bit this kind of feels a bit much. Mm, I need to reduce set up map. Let's try zero point six instead. Generate. Okay. Okay. Um, let me do. I feel like it's something to do for the guides. Let me hide this for now. This guide feel like I should push it more, push it more towards this axis. Kind of making it cross, go across, kind of go across the other side, something like this. Let's go here. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, hide this again. So, you see why it's very important. You shouldn't create SS guide so you know where to manually unpick. Some and then make adjustments to it. Use this across. Okay. So I'm trying to be careful in the select this piece. Okay. Kind of making them go across themselves. Kind of moving them around also too. Just to create a bit of variation in there. Select this piece. Maybe move this across. Okay, select this major one and move this across. Select this
kind of get this like so okay fair enough select this piece this one looks a bit confused let's give him let's give it a direction again okay so now i'm going to hide all this guide we could save i need to change up this need to modify this plump a bit more so i want it to be a bit free at the edge a bit, a bit free on the on the on the root rather a bit free on the roots um guessing i need to leave this up no no that's a bit too much maybe down let me figure out something that should let me figure out something that will work just fine for it nope oh. let's release mission Yes, something like this. Now get down like so. This will get down way more. Get a transition to it. Yeah, I think we're getting something close enough. This is looking somewhat close enough. If we add a pinch here, let's try something here like so. Yeah, I think this is this is pretty much close enough. It's pretty much pleasant. Now let's do quick save. So in the next lesson, we'll just continue and then carry on and then begin to continue to not begin to but continue to modify this even more. Mm -hmm. To have our desired results.